Well, obviously, we're glad to get that first game behind us in, um, in a new arena <laughs> and um, have the opportunity to kind of get a feel for what it's like out here in Gwinnett. But felt like, um, for the most part, we had the opportunity to play a lot of people, um, get a lot of people quality minutes, and just kind of get a feel for where we are at this point in the season. Um, I was impressed with um, our ability, obviously, to score. We missed uh, several free throws. I don't know if that has something to do with adjusting to this this quarter, us just missing free throws. Um, that's something we'll address. I didn't. I wasn't really pleased with our rebounding. Those are a couple of things we'll have to address before Sunday. But overall, it was just a great defensive effort. And obviously, you saw our offense came from our defense. Coach, going into the season, did you have an idea who your rebounders would be? Well, I think that was my biggest question mark. You know, I said at ACC Media Day there were two question marks about this team. The number one question mark was was going to be rebounding. Alex Montgomery led the ACC in defensive rebounds. She averaged almost 10 rebounds a game from a guard position. She averaged seven defensive rebounds a game last year for us. So, obviously, I was concerned about where that was going to come from. And then Deja Foster is somebody that had 100 rebound, offensive rebounds three years out of her four years she played here. So those are two tremendous rebounders that we're trying to replace. And I just felt like that's been a weakness. We address it every single day in practice. It's not a drill that we don't do where we don't talk about boxing out and rebounding but that's something that's going to be a that's going to be a it's it's our Achilles heel right now and that's something we're going to really have to work on and drill over the next couple months. Uh, I feel like you know coming to a new arena is it's a little shaky at first in shooting but it's just like you know when you play AAU in high school you know everywhere you travel somewhere different every day to play so you know it's just if you're a great shooter and you know how to shoot, it's, it's just your shot and know how to shoot. I feel the same way. We um we had a few practices up here, so you know we were allowed to get adjusted to the new arena, and you know it was a good experience overall. You know, good shots. Sydney, have you played here before? No, sir, I have not. Okay. Coach Danielle got significant minutes this game last year. She averaged less than about ten minutes a game. Talk about her her role on the team. Well, Danny's really improved. Today was she wasn't one of her better games, but we've seen her play against. We've had some exhibition games early against some pretty good teams, and Danny's played fairly well. Scored around the basket today. She wasn't able to convert a couple of those baskets. So I thought this team was. I thought Alabama State was very physical. Um, you know, they were scrappy and they played hard and they were physical and bumping us a lot. And we just got to get used to playing that way again. You know, it's. Uh, it's one of those things. But Danny's, Danny's really going to help this team this year. Um, she's really improved. Her confidence is at a whole other level. And as you saw, we have, um, we, have, we have tremendous depth. That's the strength of this team. Um, speed, quickness, and depth is, is, our, is our strengths. With regard to the depth, do you see Sydney getting a chance to serve as a backup for Mimi? You know, at times, I mean, right now, Sydney's trying to figure out where the locker room is and how to, how to, you know, what's the offense, what she's supposed to be on defense. But once Sydney figures all that out, she's going to be a pretty special player. I think you can see that. Sydney, what was your feeling going into the game? Any nerves, that type of thing? Um, first game, you know, it's always kind of nervous, but you just, you know, settle down, just be confident, go out there and just play as hard as you can play. Uh, I felt like this was a great way to start start the season off. I mean, playing against a, a tough team, and our, our team came out. We played hard. I mean, coming back from last year when I was, you know, obviously one of the top freshmen in the ACC, I just felt like it helped my team not just in scoring, but, you know, trying to rebound and trying to have hustle points and hustle plays. So I felt like overall I played good for my team, and, you know, I was going to continue to get better as the year goes on. All right, what did you learn from last year that's going to help you out this year? Uh, last year – uh, playing in the ACC, it showed me how tough it was. And, you know, in the off season, I got a lot tougher. You know, I got a lot stronger, gaining weight. So, I mean, this year, I think, you know, how much physical it is, how much more bigger I got over the off season, I feel like it's going to help me out a lot. Yeah, it was a good way to remind me of how physical it's going to be in the uh, – NCAA and the ACC, but uh, I th also think it was a good way for Sydney to get adjusted, you know, a good way to break her in the uh, play in the ACC. I just told her it's another game. She's got to go out there and play. I mean, she know how to play basketball. She knows what she has to do. You know, just go out there. No worries. Just play how, the way you know how to play. Coach, uh, how did you feel the board? 
I think TJ is, a, is going to be, a, again, a, a special player once she figures this all out. you got to remember, too, this is English is her third language. So not only is she overcoming the English, you know, the language barrier, she's also trying to figure out how to play the way we play over here compared to where they play in Europe. So, um, you know, she's had a little bit of a transition, but I really think that she's going to be a really good player for us in our system. She's physical. She reminds me a lot of Bridget Ardasi. She's physical and tough, and she can hit that 15 to 16-foot jump shot. She has three-point range. Um, I, I just think, you know, as the season goes along, she and Sydney are really going to, uh, as they get their understanding of our system and grasp the concepts, I think they can really help this team. Last question. You think she has a little more of a feisty streak than uh, Bridget has? Yeah. Can you kind of try to coach that out of her? Well, Bridget's, you know, the first time I saw uh, TJ play, I thought, you know, the thing that stood out to me was her toughness and her aggressiveness. And it's been one of those things where she got here and she's just kind of timid. And, I, and I've been talking to her, you know, before practice about, you know, that's not the player I recruited. I recruited you for your toughness, and I need to see that. And so I really feel like she's starting to come around and show that a little bit more. Yep.